Smith's is one of those items that until I found a good one, I actually now don't know what I did without it because it's just so convenient. <laughs> Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kira. I share videos on shopping for the best basics on the high street, how to build a capsule, wardrobe, and lots of other good stuff. So if that sounds good to you, then do hit subscribe because I would love to have you back for more videos. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at your 10 piece capsule autumn accessories checklist that is a mouthful it is a follow-on for my previous video which was your 10 piece autumn capsule wardrobe checklist which was looking at clothing but in this video we are doing accessories we're talking about bags hats boots belts and all the accessories basically because for me they really make all the difference with the outfit. Everything that I mentioned will be linked right down in the description below. I will also leave alternatives if anything is sold out. If something is a little bit more pricey, I will leave high street and affordable options as well. I want there to be something there for all budgets and price points. Let's get straight into it. The first item that I recommend in your autumn accessory checklist is the classic flat. It is music to my ears that flats are having such a moment right now. It can be a ballet flat. For me, that is probably my pick this season. I have a pair that I picked up from Marks and Spencer. They were just around 50 euro and they are so good. They're so chic. They'll work for workwear. They'll work for day to day. They're real leather as well, which is great. And even the footbed, there's like a nice bit of cushioning on the footbed. The leather is supple. They're just really, really good. And I have worn mine all day in the city and they have been absolutely perfect. They come in the classic black color, which I I really like. They also come in a more neutral color with a little bit of a black trim. Um, but if you don't want to go for a classic ballet flat, maybe you might be more of a loafer gal instead. What I would recommend, however, is going for something minimal and quite dainty or elegant looking. There's a really great pair that I also love by Sam Edelman. They're very similar to the Gucci horse bit loafers, but they um, are a much more affordable version. I think they're fantastic as well. They're also real leather. So I do think if you can buy budget for it, a pair of good quality leather flats. So the second item in my autumn capsule accessories wardrobe is a chic court heel, um, kind of like a lower heel basically. And the pair that I highly recommend are these black courts from River Island. I love the pointed toe on them. I think they're so elegant. They really elongate the leg, but also they're really comfortable. There's something about the way the strap goes around the ankle. You feel kind of secure and supported, but they do not cut into you which I love. Sometimes the lower heels and the courts are very deceptive. You think they're going to be really comfy and they can pinch and pull and I've had really uncomfortable pairs before but these are good. They really are so elegant. It's definitely something that's having more of a moment right now but honestly I do think it's such a gorgeous way to dress up kind of like a midi skirt, those longer lengths. I think court heels like lower courts look amazing with trousers. Even with a pair of jeans it's a great way of dressing dressing a pair of jeans down. And you'll notice in this video that all of the accessories that I'm mentioning are really uh, perfectly paired with the wardrobe items, the clothing that I've mentioned in the previous videos. These two videos are kind of partners of each other. So if you're watching this one, make sure you've gone and watched the other one as well and vice versa. So I think the court heels work so well with the denim I mentioned, with the trousers, the midi skirts, they're just so, so gorgeous. So the next accessory in my autumn capsule accessories wardrobe is a knee high boot. And again, this is a piece that I wear year after year after year. And actually this year I invested in my dream knee high boots. They are by Massimo Duty. They're so, so gorgeous. Um, they are still available. I'll have them linked below, of course. They're just so stunning. So the pair that I picked up, they were about, I think, 220 euros, which is a little bit more expensive than I would usually spend. But I wanted to invest in something that I would have for years to come. Um, they are real leather, really, really good quality. There's just a gorgeous feel to them and I feel like they look really really premium as well. Knee-high boots are great for pairing with not only your shorter skirts but they look beautiful and really chic with midi lengths as well especially with the kind of midi uh, satin midi 
skirts I think are so beautiful with a pair of knee-high boots kind of underneath them. I think it's, it's so chic. Places like H&M do great knee-high boots, especially their premium collection and other stories do really, really good ones. There actually are some gorgeous pairs on Marks and Spencer at the moment, some real leather pairs on Marks and Spencer that are just amazing. So I will link some of my favorites below. So next up, I would highly recommend on your checklist is a pair of ankle boots. And again, I feel like this is a no-brainer. We tend to live in our ankle boots, but especially in the autumn, I feel like as soon as the summer ends, I am dying to get my ankle boots out. They're just such a fail safe for me. And the ones that I really recommend are the ASOS ankle boots. They are such a find. They are under 50 euro. They're weirdly comfortable for the heel height. I honestly find them so comfortable and they're the perfect dressy casual boot. So if you were doing date night, if you were doing like dinner and drinks and you didn't want to wear a full heel, these are the boots that you need. Yeah, I like that extra bit of height and I think the slim heel is really elegant. They look really beautiful with midi skirts, but I also think they look gorgeous worn with trousers when you can just see the kind of boot heel um, and the front toe cap just peeking out with like a longer length. I think they're so, so chic. And then the last piece of footwear in my autumn capsule wardrobe checklist is of course, the classic trainer. Now I do think it's great to get a very classic style to keep it kind of simple with not a lot of details because it just means that you're going to be able to wear it with so many different outfits. A great option for this kind of trainer would be something like the Adidas Sambas or the Gazelles. They're very chic. They're kind of a nice slimmer look on the foot which I love but if you wanted to go for something else the likes of Veyas are great too and I also feel like Veyas have been around for longer and are a little bit less trendy so I feel like maybe that might be a better investment. Investment. I think my top recommendation would probably be a pair of Veyas. I really love mine. I have the Campos. They have a tiny little bit of green on them and they're just really, really easy to style. They look chic, put together. They're the trainers that I would wear when I'm running around the city. If I want to be comfortable, but also look quite put together as well, they're a really good go-to. So the next item I recommend in your autumn capsule accessories wardrobe is a baseball cap. And I think this is something that is often overlooked. My pick is the Ralph Lauren beige um, polo cap. It's so simple. You can get it for about 50 euros. They sell it on lots of different places. I'll link a bunch of them below. And it's so simple. And I wear it with so many outfits, especially on days where I'm running around, if my hair's not done, if it is windy, blustery, if there might be a little bit of rain. It's definitely too warm to wear our hats and our beanies and all of our heavier layers at the moment. And God only knows we will be in them soon and we'll be in them for a long time. So right now I find baseball caps great as like that quick, easy layer when you want a little bit of coverage and they just look so chic as well but you don't want to be too hot. A good baseball cap that you can just chuck on with different outfits is one of those items that until I found a good one I actually now don't know what I did without it because it's just so convenient. A few other ones that I really like are the classic Ghani ones. They come in some really nice neutral colors. They're gorgeous. Isabel Moran has a really really nice one as well and they're just some really simple ones out there with like very minimal logos on them that are just really really chic and they work with so many outfits. They're so handy. So let's move on to handbags because of course they are a really big part of our accessories wardrobe starting with a classic tote and again I've mentioned it multiple times on this channel but the Demelier New York tote is such a fantastic tote. It's just a great all-rounder. It's really really great quality for the price. I feel like it's on par with some of the really expensive designer brands that we've seen so many price increases from over the past few seasons and sometimes I feel like it's it's hard to get that kind of value anymore with really nice accessories. So I feel like Demelier, they're an amazing like mid-range premium brand. They're like mid-range luxury. And the New York tote I think is just chef's kiss. I have the larger version and I wear it so much when I travel. It's a great kind of airport bag. But also if you're someone who's looking for something for your workwear wardrobe, it's great. Next up would be a crossbody bag. And again, I feel like it totally depends on what you need. I've got a lot of review videos on my channel already about some amazing mid-range and luxury bag. So depending on what your budget is, uh, brands like Coach are fantastic. Um, they do an amazing crossbody in the Bandit. I have a full video on that if you want to check it out. Also 
Palen do some amazing bags. They're really, really good quality for the price. Um, I featured some of those as well, but I would say my top pick currently for a crossbody for the autumn season is the Demelier Vancouver. Um, I picked up the tan colorway in the grain recently. I have another video on that as well, and it's just so stunning. And it's one of those handy crossbodies where you can play with the strap, so it can be an under the arm bag, which is really nice and chic. Again, it makes it a little bit dressier for maybe an evening out, but it lengthens as well to go across the body. So I think that if you're looking at investing, getting a bag that has those multi uses is such a great way of getting more bang for your buck. The Demelier Vancouver, it also comes in lots of different colors. So again, things like black, tan, I think that going for a good tote and a good crossbody in those kind of neutral colors, it's just, it's such a fail safe. Next up in your autumn accessories, capsule wardrobe checklist, you are gonna need some good belts. If you wanted to pick up just one, I do think a great all-rounder is the Arquette belt. It comes in at around the 50 euro mark. It's in a beautiful black leather, a really good quality leather, and it has the lovely gold detailing. It also comes with the silver detailing. And again, it's a great all-rounder. It's not too thick, it's not too skinny. And I wear this belt at least a couple of times a week with my trousers. The ones again that I mentioned in the previous video, this belt looks great with all of them. I think it's good to get a little bit better quality if you can, or at least go for real leather because they take a lot of pulling and kind of strapping. So I do think that some of the belts that I have that are faux leather, they take tend to crack and like degrade quite quickly. So that's why I feel like the Arquette one is a really good middle ground. It's not too expensive. It's not breaking the bank. It's not like a designer price tag, but it still is really good quality. So I feel like this one will last. If you wanted something different, I would highly recommend the Isabel Morant Lecce or Lecce belt. It is her iconic belt that you have seen probably loads of times before. But the one that I really recommend for your capsule wardrobe is her reversible version. I think it's a great buy. So it has the black and the tan colorway. So again, you're getting two uses in one, which I think is really, really clever. And it's a great belt that works into the summertime as well, especially in the tan color. So if the Arquette one, if you have something similar already, maybe look at the Isabel Moran version, but I do think the Arquette is probably my first recommendation if you're looking to start with a good belt. The final accessory that I recommend in your autumn capsule wardrobe is a classic pair of sunglasses. And they are not just for autumn winter, if anything, the kind of low light that we get in the winter and those long sunsets, you actually need your sunglasses even more, especially when driving. So I would recommend a classic black pair. They're just so chic. My top recommendation and my most worn is probably the Saint Laurent Mica sunglasses. I feel like they are just such a gorgeous, timeless style. They're like a modern cat eye. They just look great with everything. They make every outfit look that little bit chicer. I just love them. I also have a really great high street alternative for the Saint Laurent Micas. It's the And Other Stories version. They come in at under 30 euro and they are ideal identical. I don't have them myself, but I've seen them in person on Friends and they are exactly the same. They're really good quality as well. So I will link those below and they come in like the tortoise print and everything. So maybe if you had the Saint Laurent Micas um, and you wanted a different kind of colorway, the And Other Stories ones are a great version as well. A brand that I also really rate for classic black sunglasses are Les Specs. I've only started with them recently and I have two pairs that I adore. I have the really classic Out of Love sunglasses that I think went quite viral on TikTok. They're like a slightly slimmer shape. The slightly more rounder version that I have are the Nouveau Trash and they're gorgeous. Again, they both come in at around the 60, 70 euro mark. Um, and I'll link where you can get them below. They're sold on a few different retailers, but the Nouveau Trash version is very similar to the Celine Triomphe sunglasses, which I really like, but they're very expensive. So I feel like the Lespecs versions are good enough for me and I will spend my bobs elsewhere in my wardrobe. Lespecs are a really good French brand, like they're really high quality sunglasses. So I feel like I just, I think they're a great option. If you don't want to get the designer labels, you can go for brands like the Specs that are really good quality. They're really great for the sun protection, but they're also super chic as well. So that just about covers my top 10 checklist of my accessories for your capsule autumn wardrobe. I would also 
recommend your jewellery but I feel like jewellery is something that we all wear all year round and can, it doesn't really change seasonally massively so I didn't want to include it but it goes without saying your jewellery at uh, your accessories your kind of watches and things are going to really help style and dress up all of your outfits really by styling everything together and getting creative and using your jewellery and that kind of stuff you can really make these outfits so different and you can dress completely different looks for your workwear, your casual, your dressy outfits. And it's really all about getting creative. And of course, for me, my capsule wardrobe extends beyond 10 pieces, of course. Like this is my job. I definitely have more clothing than your average person. But it's just to really show how even with 10 key items, both for clothing and for accessories, that you can really create this wardrobe of great basics that, you know, on those days where you don't know what to wear or when you're just at a loss that you go back to those basics because sometimes the best best outfits and my favorite outfits to wear are those basics that just look so good. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this rundown. And as I mentioned, if you haven't watched my previous video all about my top 10 clothing checklist, you can check that out in the description below. Um, as always, if you enjoy these videos, you wanna see more capsule wardrobe type content, then do give me a thumbs up to let me know. And if you have not already, you can subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye.